this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Last time, we got the Ashura Summon. It has a random effect like curing or raise on all your party members or protect on everyone or does something else, I forget, but whatever. I, mean, I don't use it that much, so let's talk to this guy, the Idon King. Well, sure, I've already done that. I've become a paladin. No. No, yeah, 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 I, I'm ready. Surf's up! For boss time! Okay, now Leviathan will start out with... Oh, I thought it was called Flood, but... Okay, a deluge attack. This will kill you. Unless you... Well, do what I'm about to do. Okay, first things first. We want to use a spider silk on him. Let's see, Kane? Uh, I probably should have had King Spider Silk, but, well, whatever, that's that. Let's use another slow on him. Now, in this version of the game, the only way you can tell that he's about to use his Flood attack, or Deluge, is if he, like, opens his mouth. In the other versions of the game, it was a little easier because uh, he would, like, turn around and look away from you, so it was more of a dramatic difference there. But anyway, so once you get slow on him twice, let's use Kiraja on everyone. Probably don't need Kiraja, but you never know. Obviously, being a serpent monster, he's weak to Thunder! So I'm using Thundara. You could use the Lightning Claws on... I almost said Yang, but Edge there. But I don't think it's really worthwhile. I think Blitz will do more damage there. Might want to heal up Edge there. Yeah, just use Slow, Blitz, Thundara. It's pretty much the way to go. I'm not even going to bother using Haste on anyone. Just have everyone go all out. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I uh, arranged my equipment as I have listed in the video description there. So Cecil's back on the Avenger Sword. I love that weapon so much. I love all, almost all the weapons that we got now. Now, technically... What was it? Technically, the trying to think of the, of the weapon that I was equipping. Oh yeah, technic- no, a spell. Uh, technically, Ramu would deal more damage than Thundara, but Thundara has a much better casting time, so it's better DPS anyway. So, get back to Rose's turn. I think I'll just go with the uh, ordinary Kiraga, if that's alright. But otherwise, pretty easy enough. What is that thing that we're standing on anyway? Looks like a cargo net from American Gladiators. Uh, you're out. Oh, I could... No, I don't handle shurikens anymore. I was going to say, I could throw some of them, but... Yeah, unfortunately, shurikens aren't really good that good in this game. Or at least not the ordinary ones. There's other ones that we can get later, but... That are reasonable to use, but... Still. When has the throw command, like, ever been really useful? Like, Final Fantasy VI, I think, is the only one that I can think of off the top of my head, where it was, like, really good. Like, you could basically put your ninja in the back row and just just throw shurikens all day. You wouldn't even use the attack man. It was just so good. I'm not sure how much I like that. I mean, that was, like, almost a little overpowered. But I do like how throwing elemental weapons had that elemental effect. Whereas, I think in this game, I don't think the element of the we thrown weapon takes effect. Uh, I, I could be wrong on that. I, I don't know. But, okay. By the way, uh, in this version of the game, they fixed something where if Kane is in the air and you target the party with, like, Kiraga or Kiraja, he won't... If he lands before the spell resolves, he won't get the healing of that spell. But in this version of the game, it does, because it just targets everyone like that, so. Hey, hey, all right. Oh, and they spelled Leviathan correctly in this version. In the original, it was Leviathan, but. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. Nice to get a little more background on that. No apology or anything for killing all those soldiers just to get one green-haired girl. I mean, heck, I'd have done it, but that doesn't excuse him. So, okay, well, what I want to do is I want to head back to the castle there. I want to store some equipment that I've listed in the video description and probably sell my other equipment, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're 
we're all set and ready to go. There's only one more place to go. Now we have to complete or continue on with the main quest. So, a couple little side quests, but a nice touch. So, let's head on in. Gotta get the crystal before Golbez does. Someone was asking, H.C. Bailey, why are we going to go for the crystal when, you know, it's perfectly sealed in there? Well, it's not. Remember what Giat was saying, the that Golbez could eventually force his way through anyway. I mean, the seal's pretty good, but it's not that good. So, let's take a look around. One thing with this version of the game that's nice when you just step onto the rope there, you won't automatically climb down it like you would in other versions of the game. But anyway, this area, you can meet up with Nagarajas normally. So if you didn't meet up with them back in the the fame arc there, you can meet up with them here. Yeah, let's let Cecil take care of the rest. Thank you. Ah, oh, the Avenger is so good. The Berserk status uh, increases your attack power by 50%. Amazing. Huh? What the? We fought, we fought floors, now we're fighting doors? Well, anyway, now, the way I'm gonna fight this guy is based on what you want, what I want to do is, oh, I hope Cecil doesn't kill it. Okay, what I want to do is to get a monster to spawn out of the door. Hmm, how can I do that without killing the guy? Maybe if I just remove my weapon, that'll do and then I just want to give it a nice little nudge there. There we go. Once he kills a party member, then he'll usually summon a uh, Chimera Brain. Uh, not ultra rarely, but every now and then he'll summon a Yellow Dragon. So if you didn't meet up with it earlier, you can meet up with the Yellow Dragon that way. That would be the easiest way of doing so. I've already done that. So I'm not going to kill the the trapdoor that way usually but if you're trying to meet up with the yellow dragon you can there is a much easier way of dealing with them though and i will show you how kotetsu don't really need that okay we got another new enemy lesser marilla uh let's see they are oddly enough considered giant type enemies so if you have the angel arrows that could work really well against these guys oh i removed your weapon that's right well, let's uh, change that. Uh, you could also use Toad on them if you wanted to. But I'm, I'm not gonna. They're, they, their HP isn't high enough to really warrant it. But you can if you want. By the way, with the Defender on Kane there, I know what you're thinking, yours. H.C. Bailey, don't you want to have a Spear on Kane so that way he can deal double damage with Jump? And in this game... That does not matter, unlike Final Fantasy V, where you need a spear to deal double damage with jump. Let's take out another one of these trap doors. Yeah, we're going to be fighting a lot of these guys. But anyway, there is a much easier way of dealing with them. Let's get to Rose's turn if I can. No! Okay, whew! Almost missed that. Uh, who was he targeting? Cecil? I think he was targeting Cecil. I hope he was. But anyway, whoever the trapdoor is targeting with Reflect, or with that ninth dimension spell, just use Reflect on whoever he's targeting, and then you'll be fine. Maybe it might be a good idea to turn down the battle speed so I don't have problems with that. Ah, well, nuts to that. So let's take out these two trapdoors. Okay, clear those guys out. You don't have to kill all the trapdoors, but they are worth really good experience, so I recommend it. And it's really easy, too, with the Reflect spell. I heard that trapdoors, at least in their bestiary entry, they're supposed to be immune to instant death. But for some reason, when Ninth Dimension reflects, it bypasses that for some reason. I don't know why, but, well, there you go. And by the way, oh, there's nothing in this room. And by the way, if you're trying to get the yellow dragon from those trapdoors for the bestiary, that's why one reason why I brought a lot of Phoenix Downs. Or why I bought them earlier. There we get the Lutz just sword, but oh no, let's get the Kane's turn. Get the Kane's turn. 
We got the Luster Sword, but it's totally worthless at this point. Let's put these Vampire Bats to sleep! Maybe I could have killed them since I got the Phantom Attack, but sleep is really the way to deal with these guys, so that way they won't kill... Well, drain you! Of all hope you have in life. No, no, but they, they're draining the animation. Yeah, it takes a little while. All right, now, some of these rooms are empty, by the way, but not most of them. Okay, now with this battle, yeah, let's put them to sleep. I was going to say, maybe use Edge's Flame, and I'm still going to. Uh, the Vampire Bat and the Vampiruses are susceptible to fire. And I think that's all the new enemies around here. All right. Uh, besides the Yellow Dragon. If you do run into a Yellow Dragon that spawns from the trapdoor, make sure that you... Uh, use hold or edges. Make sure you use hold or edges. Uh, shadow bind ability, and that'll take care of them. All right, got it. I love that sleep sword, which I knew, wish I knew about that the first time I played. There we get a Fuma Shuriken. It's really powerful. You want to save that for end game stuff. I think it could deal like five thousand damage. Or at least the last time I played it did. There's a light curtain. Did I get another curtain earlier? I thought I did. No, I didn't. Okay, light curtain. It casts Reflect on the user, so you want to hold on to that for later. If you're fast enough, you might find these empty rooms faster. No. Uh, but you might be able to kill a trap door without using Reflect. The Avenger Sword just helps out so much with that. But can we get the Crystal of Darkness before Golbez can? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!